Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And if you guys is another, uh, well, I guess another uh, video game update. We're playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla today. Um, I recently got this game for Christmas. This is my first video on it. I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole dedicated thing for it. If you want me to do some kind of free roam element to this, just tell me in the comments. Uh, but this is basically me uh, just playing uh, this game for a reason because I have two games to talk about today. Sadly, not Lego Star Wars. Um, we're gonna be talking about Hogwarts Legacy and a new Star Wars game that is not Lego. So Hogwarts Legacy was a big, massive open world Harry Potter game set in the Wizarding World, canon to the films, that was gonna release this year. However, uh, Port Key Games has officially uh, declared today, and I'll try to put their Twitter, their tweet if I can remember, that um, essentially uh, Hogwarts Legacy is delayed officially until 2022, which is friggin' terrible news for us. Um, you know, a lot of people go, oh, it's, it's horrible, and it, it's, it's bad because I really wanted to play it, but the good news is that when you think about it, a delayed game is eventually good, a rushed game is forever bad. However, <laughs> that's not the freaking case anymore because Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed, what, like a hundred times or whatever? And it's a complete garbage fire, so it's, you know, I used to think that. I used to go, oh, you know, delaying games is good, but no, not the case uh, because they just look at Cyber Blunder. But I think Porky Games knows what they're doing. Harry Potter is a pretty massive IP, uh, one of the biggest ever, and I don't think they're going to totally F that up. Um, but yeah, so that is delayed until 2022. Kind of a bummer. Um, you know, we'll have to see. Maybe it'll be good, but, you know, better for it. Maybe it'll be trash. We don't know. Who knows? Um, I'm looking forward to it, but again, sadly, 2022 now instead of 2021 this year. And the other news is that the reason why I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla and not some Star Wars game, uh, is because, yes, there's a new Star Wars game coming out. Um, there was that Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga thing that we had, uh, and that was essentially saying... Boom! Uh, Lucasfilm Games is now a thing. So, kind of seems like EA Games isn't really going to be a thing anymore. I think EA's expire, uh, EA's contract with uh, Lucasfilm and, you know, Disney and all that is going to kind of expire, I think. Now, of course, EA made Battlefront, Battlefront 2, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and Squadrons. Apparently, we're doing uh, Jedi Fallen Order 2 as well. I don't know if that's confirmed. I think it's just rumored. Um... But essentially, this new uh, Star Wars game, we don't know the title yet, it's just called Star Wars. Um, it is being developed by Ubisoft, who makes the Assassin's Creed game. So I figured, hey, I love Valhalla, and uh, it's made by Ubisoft, so, you know, we're gonna do that. So that's why we're seeing Valhalla in today's video. But, um, again, sorry this is late, but is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I, I think Ubisoft makes really good games. I think the Far Cry games are really good. Um, the Far Cry games are my least favorite only because I think when you complete all the activities, it's just kind of like a barren world. Um, I freaking love Ghost Recon Wildlands. I think that's a fantastic military shooter. Um, I think that uh, Watch Dogs 1, 2 are great. Watch Dogs Legion is good, but the version I play has screen tear up the butt, and it looks really, really, really bad. Um, so hopefully they can patch that whenever I get a Series X. Valhalla, you're seeing this gameplay right now on a base Xbox One. This is probably the most polished game of 2020, of last year. No screen tear, as you can see. No screen tear at all. No, I haven't had a crash. I'm like 52 hours in. No crashes. This game is effing amazing. It's one of the best games I've ever played. It's fantastic. And, uh, you know, I love all the Assassin's Creed games. So Ubisoft is a good... And, of course, Raymond Raving Rabbids. But Ubisoft does a good job with, I think, uh, making games for the most part. They can be a little scummy at times uh, with their business models and all that. But I think that they do make quality games. And I think Star Wars and Lucasfilm is right to go with, uh, you know, I think they're making the good choice to go into EA. Or, not EA, go into, you know, Ubisoft to make a Star Wars game. I think it's really good. Um, so we'll have to see what happens again. It is apparently an open world title, again, made by Ubisoft. Uh, just titled Star Wars at the moment. But again, that's basically it. So again, uh, uh, I can't talk. I was going to say Wizarding. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy is delayed until 2022. And Ubisoft is making a brand new Star Wars open world title, uh, presumably for PS5, Xbox Series X, PC, I'd imagine. I don't think it's going to come to Xbox One and PS4. I could be wrong. Who knows? Um, whenever we do get more LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga news, I will update you guys on that. There's rumors that that game's going to get delayed. I don't think so. I know UK is going through a lockdown and we got the whole vaccine, the whole whole crap. You know, it's, it's just a, it's a shite show. But hopefully um, we get official news soon because, again, if the game's coming out in spring... 
I mean, we gotta have a freaking, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, January 13th. It's almost midway through the month. We gotta have some news soon, right? So hopefully when we do get news, I will, uh, of course, cover for you guys. I can't wait for that game. It's gonna be effing amazing. Uh, again, I think all Star Wars is good. Everything canon is just flawless in my eyes. Um, and I can't wait. TT Games are the best games, I think, around. Best devs around, and I can't wait to see what they do with this. Um, hopefully it's not, <laughs> hopefully it's not, a. Uh, you know, delayed. We'll have to find out and see. But again, guys, hope you enjoyed this little video of me playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I think it's a great game. Um, if you want me to just kind of F around and just kind of show you my stats and just kind of do random stuff, tell me in the comments because I'll gladly do it. Um, I might not do story content because I'm kind of midway through the campaign. I'll just kind of do like uh, open world activities and all that. But again, tell me in the comments. Again, what do you think about Hogwarts Legacy getting delayed and a new Star Wars game made by Ubisoft? Uh, you think that's a good idea or bad idea? Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.